What you guys got another video here for you for all you Windows 10 version 2004 users. Microsoft have finally released a major update that fixes a heap of uh, problems. So you can see here if you've got Winver, type Winver in the search. If you're running this version here, then this update is for you. It's going to fix the defragging issue. It's going to fix a bunch of other issues, as I'll show you in this video. Hit your Windows 10 update and check for updates. You might see that it's up to date. You should see an area saying view optional updates underneath. And that's what you need to click on. And what this will do is give you access to the very latest uh, 20, 20, 08, uh, community of update uh, preview for Windows 10 version 2004. This is for 64-bit based systems. The update is called KB4571744. And once this is downloaded, it will then need to restart the PC and install that update. You can also get it from here, which is the catalog here. I'll leave the links for these in the video description so you can download them and install them. If you haven't updated to this version of Windows 10 yet and you're wondering whether it's okay to update, I would have thought that you should by now have updated to 2004 and get access to uh, these updates that fixes a ton of problems. If you come over here, to this website here, which gives you all of the known issues and also resolved issues for every version of Windows 10. You'll see it gives you the resolved uh, KB4571744. When you click on this, it will give you a list of common problems that is happening with uh, this version of Windows 10. And this is the update that fixes and resolves a lot of these issues. Now you can see the amount of issues here. I'll go through and you'll be amazed of how many issues there is with Windows 10 2004. But finally, we have some resolve to it. You can see File Explorer stopped working when you're browsing directories on raw images and other file types. I've had that issue on my system. Again, maybe it's because people don't use their system like I use mine and I see a lot more issues than other people. But you can see here, there is some lists of uh, issues here and the list just goes on and on. Outlook, Microsoft Outlook become unresponsive. I've had that issue and made a video on that and I use Outlook every day. Again, the list just goes on and on and on. Now you can understand the frustration with people with Windows 10 when you see the amount of issues and bugs that they have to fix like this. There's just so many of them. Now I'll leave this documentation in the video description so you can read it at your own leisure but there is a heap of stuff that's causing major problems blurry signing screen you've got black screen here as well also blue screens of error codes and stuff like that you can see tons of uh, memory leaks it's pretty bad i mean i didn't realize the list was this extensive I mean, this one here addresses an issue that causes system to stop working and generates a 7E stop code. That's a blue screen of death. Here's another one addresses an issue that causes applications to take a long time to open. And here's another one addresses an issue that causes delays during shutdown when running a Microsoft keyboard filter service. And this one addresses an issue that causes the machine to request a new IP address after authentication. I mean, the list just goes on. And these are just some of the ones that I'm reading out here, but I can see other ones in here. Now I've not had all of these issues, but I'm pretty sure some of these are on business level where they use a lot of stuff that comes up with a lot of these errors. But I think the main one here for us was the optimization of drives dialogue, which people seem to say that there was never issue there, but you can see it listed right here. So it's been fixed, but there was a known issue. And of course people, just seem to be in denial. I think I could say that most people just want a stable operating system with no problems. And when people start to hold off on updates, that's a worrying sign for uh, you know companies like Microsoft or Windows 10 in general, because people just don't want to update because of the problems that it has. So when they fix these problems, they'll release another major update. And of course that will have loads more problems again. It's just like being on a merry-go-round and uh, you know, it's not good, but these uh, errors are sometimes 
pretty concerning, addresses an issue that may cause a stop error code at startup. It says this issue occurs after installing certain Windows updates that were released on or after April 21st, 2020. Now, all you've done is updated your Windows operating system, and then guess what? You're now rebooting your system, and you get a stop error code at startup. And it's going to be frustrating for some people, you know? So anyway, once you've got the update down, you should see something like this, and you can click Restart now, and it will install the update that fixes all of these problems. Hopefully, after fixing these issues, we don't see any more problems with Windows 10 version 2004. So should you roll out an update if you haven't done already to Windows 10 version 2004? I think it's OK to probably update to Windows 10 2004 now. Now they've released a major update of all of those fixes that were major problems for a lot of people. But the choice will have to be yours at the end of the day. Again, people ask me, is it safe to update? And of course, everyone's hardware is different, so I might be having no issues and then you might update and have a problem. So it's entirely up to you whether you're going to update or not. I think it's safe to say that you can update to Windows 10 2004 now. So you can see here, this was the defrag problem uh, that Microsoft had, but they never listed on their site here. You should now see it says needs optimization. And when you run this, it's on scheduled here, but I've not got it set to that at the moment if I click optimize it will say trimmed now and it will trim that and of course it won't defrag it just trims runs that trim command there which is safe to do and uh, I've turned all mine off but if you want to turn it back on it's safe to do so now because it has been resolved to do that you would just hit the turned on part and put the tick back into uh, scheduled run on scheduled recommended if you don't want to do that it's entirely up to you you can do it yourself but the problem has now been resolved with that update. So anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So for all you people that are asking, is it OK to update? You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. I think it's going to be OK to use. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.